week four of October. And I hope that in your last week, you're able to do more reading, you're digging into the Word a little bit more, spending more time reading the Bible together as a family. Maybe you've set a pattern of reading at nighttime before you go to bed, or maybe reading together as a family at dinner, whatever it is. Maybe you're an older kid, a fourth and fifth grader, and maybe you've challenged yourself to you know, increasing your time a little bit at a time each day so that now you're you know, doing 20 minutes a day maybe. That would be awesome. I'd love to hear about those stories. So we are ending our month talking about integrity, choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do, even when no one is looking, right? And this last week, we're going to talk about, I have a question for you. What is it that you typically focus on? When, you think, when you're thinking your thoughts and you're, what is it that you're focusing on? And I really admit it, a lot of things I focus on are about myself. So we're going to read a scripture today that kind of talks about that a little bit, about what we should focus on. And again, I am from Jesus Calling devotional book, and I'll be reading from Philippians 4.8. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. There's a lot of words in there. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. This next part I'm going to read is God talking to you. Start your morning with me. Resist the urge to roll over for just a few more minutes of sleep. Don't fill your room with music or television just yet. Take a few minutes to center your thoughts on me and let me fill you with my joy and peace. Then as you go through your day, keep your thoughts focused on me and my blessings. Pay attention to the things that are best, the things that are worth taking time for, like a true friend the honor of a grandparent, the pure innocence of a baby, or the loveliness of my creation. Whatever is excellent and good, notice these things and praise me for them. They are my blessings for you this day. So as we try to stop focusing so much on ourselves and start focusing on what is true and right and good, focusing on God and his blessings, we can do that by looking at creation, by being with a good friend, by being with a grandparent. There's just lots of ways that we can learn on focusing on other people and on God. All right, thank you for joining me this month of October in the Word, and I will see you next week. Bye.